Hey guys, thanks so much for watching and welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Today I have so much to do. The day that this video is going up is the day before Easter. So if you are having some family come into town or you have a lot of things that you need to get done today, then I hope this video gives you lots of motivation. If you enjoy it, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you. And let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I wanted to show you guys my to-do list just because I am just in the camp of writing it down. If you write it down, it makes it seem a lot more manageable. And I know I probably have a lot more on my to-do list than I actually wrote down here. So I'm one of those, like I see things as I go. So I'm thinking of like the major things I wanna do. And then I will probably end up doing some other things as I pass things by throughout the house. I don't know if that's just like a me thing or if a lot of people feel that way too, but I know I have to do more than just bedding, vacuuming, bathroom cleaning. But I wanna place my Grove Collaborative order today. I need to go to the grocery store. I'm gonna take you guys with me for that. Um, I have not shared yet on my channel my console table, so I will show you guys the old one. I need to like get rid of it, get somebody to come pick it up. Otherwise, it's going to the dump if nobody wants it because nobody seems to want it. <laughs> um, and then I gotta do some cleaning, figure out my tablescape for Easter, and then I gotta get some chicken barbecue in the crock pot for dinner. All the things to do today, so let's get to it. On my way downstairs, I noticed this giant pile of clothes that I need to put in this thread up bag and then mail. If you guys don't know what thread up is, I'll leave their link for their website down below. I use them all the time. It's an online consignment shop, but whenever I have clothes that I wanna get rid of or I just need to declutter, I always try to send them to thread up first to consign, especially if they're still in pretty good shape. And then whatever they don't keep and sell, they end up donating. So it just kind of works anyway if I was gonna take them to a donation center, but this has got to go today and I'm gonna to try to take it to the post office. When I look in your eyes, I don't know how, but it feels like I'm drunk on you. It's almost like you make me fly. When I look at you smile, I don't know how, but it feels like I'm drunk on you. It feels like I'm drunk on you. It feels like I'm drunk on you. you guys we're starting out in the kitchen today as always I had so much to get done in here I wanted to give the kitchen a pretty good deep clean before my family came for Easter Sunday that way I didn't have a lot to do on the day of I just like to kind of spot clean when I know someone is coming over so this was the day to get all of the deep cleaning done I'm gonna wipe down the fronts of all of my white cabinets First, I needed to give Josie some love though. She loves that morning sunlight coming in through the window and really, who can blame her? I swear I never thought it would matter If I'm gone by now All my weakness keep on linger, linger on On repeat like it will be my favorite song Oh, I know I should be moving, moving on But you got me good, you got me good I keep on trying to depend Still it feels like I'll pretend Keep on driving and driving along the road tonight. All right, so Jack and I don't have any children to give Easter baskets to, but we do have Josie. So we found these little Easter colored fish at the store the other day. So I'm just cutting them off. Any other crazy cat moms do the same thing? Let me know down below. Keep 
love these crock pot liners if you guys love using your slow cooker but you don't like cleaning up then I would highly recommend using these they can be a little bit wasteful and they're not the most environmentally friendly but they do save you a lot of cleanup time I'm just putting a couple of chicken breasts in there to make some easy chicken barbecue I had a couple of barbecue sauces open in my fridge I'm just gonna pour a little bit in there while they slow cook all day long and it'll be a super quick and easy dinner things to do in the kitchen and I cannot wait to show you guys in just a little bit how I did my tablescape this year for Easter I just love doing tablescapes they're super simple and very easy to set out the day of I usually don't leave my tablescape out all the time since my kitchen table is the only table I have to eat at in my house but I'm kind of just gonna show you in this video for some ideas if you're looking for something super festive for spring or if you're hosting someone for Easter tomorrow this is you there's no peace of mind A foolish heart and healing thought I would be fine No matter where I lay my head Another time, another bed No matter what I do I'm still gonna be dreaming of you No matter who I try to guys are doing anything for Easter weekend let me know what you guys are up to down in the comments I love chatting with you guys and just seeing what you all are up to so if you're doing anything fun this weekend getting together with family having a big Easter dinner whatever it is that you're doing let me know down in the comments feels so good to be putting these clothes in this bag. I have waited for quite a while to get this thread up bag and I've just had this pile of clothes sitting here and I keep adding to it as I go through my closet for each season to just kind of get rid of old stuff as I'm purchasing some new things and it genuinely feels so, so good to have all of this gone. I don't normally make a ton of money from selling things on ThreadUp, but recently I had enough credit. I was able to purchase four or five really nice sundresses for the new season. And I'm talking like really nice quality brands like J. Crew, Free People. So if you are somebody who likes to take care of your clothes and you just kind of like to change things out every so often, ThreadUp might totally be the thing for you. And this is not sponsored by ThreadUp, by the way. I just have to share this because I genuinely love using the service and all the stuff that I can buy on their website is really good quality too. I've seen those faces I've heard all the lies But you ain't gazing On 
someone in denial Cause you want dollar bills right now But you gotta work real hard I know you want it to be easy So let your guard down And I say See it in your mind I'm just giving this bathroom a little bit of a freshen up. I'm not doing the tub or anything today. Just the sink, mirror, and toilet. And in this video, I didn't end up getting to mop like I really wanted to. I ended up saving it for the next day, but you know what? Sometimes that's life, and you can only get some of the things done on your to-do list, and you just have to go with it. You can make it. You had great patience, but something knocked you out. You felt your limitations and filled your mind with doubt. You want to stay chill right now and don't let your eyes off the prize. I know you want it to be easy, so let your guard down. And I said, see it in your mind, trust that you have what it takes inside, cause you can make it too. All right, you guys, this is your reminder. If you're cleaning along with me, if you haven't thrown in a load of laundry, then definitely go and do that now because it is something that I always forget about. I usually try to do it at the very beginning of my cleaning or at the top of the day, but I was actually able to get two or three loads done on this day, so I'm pretty proud of myself. But now I cannot wait to share with you guys this simple tablescape that I am using for Easter Sunday tomorrow. And like I said, this is the only table I have in my house, so I like to keep it simple so I can take things off of it when I need to use the table for other things. All of the things that you see here are purchased at Target, the table runner and the chargers and plates as well as the napkins and the napkin rings. I think the table runner is the only thing that is not part of the hearth and hand collection from Target. This little white cake stand here I got from Home Goods, and then I'm just gonna put a few things on it just to kind of make it look springy and I can light the candle tomorrow. And then I have lots of plain white dishes. I have a butter dish here. I'm gonna put a stick of butter in as well as a couple of plain looking white casserole dishes and serving service ware and things like that. So. That's pretty much it other than silverware and glasses, which I will set out tomorrow. This is how I did it. I kept it super simple. So if you are like me and you just need one really simple idea for a tablescape, I hope that helped you. I thought of you as a friend who can't let go. But when you left, I could feel it go like a body of water. Alright, so I'm in the car now and I'm about ready to head to the grocery store. I've got my thread up bag in the back of my car here. I'm going to try to run it by like the FedEx store and see if I can drop it off. But I'm going to go shopping for some Easter dinner things and just like general grocery shopping. And then I'm going to bring all of that back here and I'll just kind of share with you what I got. So let's go. Well, remind me to never again go grocery shopping the day before Easter. Um, I didn't get that much footage because it was packed in there. So I'm gonna head home and then I'll show you what I got because it's busy and I wanna go home. Okay, so I just got home and laid everything out and I'm gonna show you guys really quickly what I got before I have to put all this stuff away. I don't wanna leave it out for too long. 
Um, but let's start over here on the left. So needed some more milk. I got a smoked sausage. I'm gonna try to do like a sausage, rice, and bell pepper dish this week. So I got that. I got some salmon fillets to do salmon, broccoli, and rice bowls. Shrimp for fettuccine Alfredo. This is our ham for um, Easter for tomorrow. It's a half ham, six pounds. Um, that will be plenty to feed four people and then some. Lots of produce here. I've got onions, bell pepper, um, the salad stuff back here, broccoli, apples, some frozen green beans just because I haven't been impressed with the fresh green beans lately. Needed some cheese for some dishes this week. Um, mashed potatoes, like the instant mashed potatoes. Coffee creamer. I got some cinnamon rolls for breakfast. These are also for Easter for tomorrow, these White House rolls. Um, Ucrops is so bomb. If you, are, um, if you are local to where I am, then you know. You know how good these are. <laughs> but uh, the butter was... Um, buy one, get one free. So I got two things of butter and then these are the Alfredo sauces for Alfredo for this week. And that is pretty much going to be enough to feed myself and Jack dinner for a whole week. So not too bad. Now I got to put all this stuff away and keep on cleaning. I'm somewhere in the middle. Try to find myself again. But life is one big riddle. Of the future and what's been Cause it's the way it goes And I will never know Why you let me go Look to the left, look to the right Nothing can stop me in the night Like I am leaving all the bad All right, so for those of you who don't follow me over on Instagram, here is what the new console table looks like. I know I'm kind of like sitting in front of it, but you can kind of see it in this clip. Um, a little bit of what it looks like. It is white, it's that farmhouse style. I decided not to go with the barn doors just because all of the console tables I found that had the barn doors didn't really open and close very well and I wanted something that would not break or wear out over time. So everything is hidden behind the two outside doors and then I did put the TV box in the center. It's really like the only place that it could go. And then just a few things, Josie's toys are down there and like a candle and I can decorate and stuff. We also mounted the TV, which I just feel like completely opens up this space. This console table is a little bit skinnier than the other one was, so I got some more floor space with it. It is a little bit longer. It covers about an inch, an inch and a half on either side of my windows, but honestly, you don't even notice it. I think that even the curtains help to frame out the TV. It just really makes this small living room feel so much bigger, and I love the way that it looks. You guys will have to let me know what you think about it down below. Look to the left, look to the right. Nothing can stop me in the night Like I'm leaving all the bad stuff And trying to remain so strong I know it's good if I'm wrong I got it, I gotta Go, go, go Running into better times Go, go, go From my emotions I'll go, go, go Running into better times To better times To better times
you guys, that is going to be it for today's video. I hope that it gave you so much motivation, cleaning motivation, a little bit of decor inspiration with the tablescape. And I hope you guys have an amazing Easter Sunday tomorrow with your family, or your friends, whatever you're doing tomorrow. I hope you have a great day. If you made it all the way to the end of this video, please leave me some kind of flower emoji in the comments. That way I can thank you guys for watching the video all the way to the end. I always appreciate you guys so, so much. And I will see you guys again really soon with a brand new video. Bye y'all. In our faces, you know it is all lies. You know it is all lies. On and on and on it goes. Round and round the rodeo. Breathing out air for a minute. Taking my time to begin with. On and on and on it goes.